Hello, this is H.J. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Hexes Force. Today, let's head to the Sealed Library to try and find the Necronomicon. I mean, uh, Necrozoar. Yeah, it's a lot bigger than the library we got at the... What is it? Oh, yeah, maybe Ignis could read all of them. Yeah, it's got a lot more books than... Palfina does. How long do they live anyway? Oh, okay. Now, I was thinking about this. So Gardner sealed the divine book Necrozoar away here, so Faust wouldn't get it, right? Wouldn't this be like really, really, really obvious? Or a really obvious place for Faust to look for it. But then after a few playthroughs, I thought about it a little more. And I was like, you know, it actually makes sense for Gardner to hide it here. I mean, think about it. This is the obvious place to look for the book, right? So, logically, Faust would figure there's no way someone as smart as Gardner would hide it here. So, he's hiding it right under his nose. It's like the best place to hide something is in plain sight. A little bit of reverse psychology. Now, to get through the library here, you got to climb up onto the bookshelves in order to well, get up here, then. Did I get that treasure back there? Let me check it out. Hold on. Okay, good, good. I got it. Okay. Yeah, there's that hidden treasure up in the upper right corner there. So, let's just kind of walk around here a little bit. Be careful. There's one thing about this area, in a lot of JRPGs, why is it that whenever there's like an ancient library or a sealed library or forbidden library of knowledge or something or other like that, why are there always monsters there? I mean, what are they going to do? Read a book? I don't know. Now, you see that door in the upper left there, those three spots there? There's three spots for one of the, each of the aspects of the game. So, you got to unlock that. Well, you don't have to, but it's a good idea. So, I'll show you how to open that in just a moment. Let me just double check here. Okay, good. We got the Mercurio down. We actually want the Lucky Lenses now. Forgot to equip those, but that's okay. It's not a big deal until now. But now we got another for a foresight to click there. For many lost time. What's this? Now, the three dowels in the front there are susceptible to fire. So, actually, what I'm going to do is just defend a little bit here. And use Flame Wall on them. That should wipe them all out. I suppose I could have, and perhaps should have, used uh, Gaia Shockwave on them instead, because I'm going to get my RP refilled in just a moment anyway, but Victory whatever. Is ours. God, Aerial Cleave is just so good. It's obscenely powerful in this game. But, alright. So anyway, for clearing the foresight, we get an energy mist. Alright. You could convert that if you want. Oh, speaking of force points, uh, you should probably have at least 30 grand, 32 grand or so, uh, for at, at, by the time you finish this area. So, okay, we're in good shape here. Let's save, because now there's some fixed encounters that I want to win some uh, items from. So, what you got to do, scan here. Oh. Let's check it out. Oh. Sure, why not? What's the worst that could possibly happen? Nuts. Why are there always monsters sealed in these books? What's this? I don't know, but anyway, we got a Draken here. Uh, I don't know why they spelled it like that, but well, whatever. Okay, so I want to defeat this guy with something other than a void attack to uh, get a dragon blood from it. Ow. Okay, let's go with Air Render. Try this on for size. Air Render. All right, got it. Now, this one's a pretty I'm common drop about. as long as you use the appropriate element on him. And we got it, Dragon Blood. We're gonna need that for crafting something later on. And dragons are relatively hard to uh, 
encounter on Cecilia's path, unlike uh, Levant's path there. So that's one of the reasons why I use the recipes I do for the dying youth side quest, because well, you can't meet up with them as often to get, like, dragon meats or something. Okay, so I want to save there, and now I want to get another one. Or, well, another fixed encounter there. So you see how defeating that guy lit up one of those spots there. Well, if you do all of them like that, then you can open the door. But right now we can't yet, so let's open this one. That's... For mini-boss time! Now this guy's gonna be a little tricky to win the item that I want because it is a little rare, even with the lucky lenses. It's one of the hardest rare drafts to get, but it's not obscenely rare. So we should be good. Kill him with whatever you want. He's weak to light. So let's do that. Alright. He's also considered a demon type monster, if that matters to you. Yeah, I didn't get the item I wanted, so... Okay, well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, load my save file and then get up to this point again to win the item I want. And I'll be right back. <laughs> All right, we got the demon wing from this guy. That's the rare drop that I wanted to get from him. So yeah, it's not ultra rare, only took me four tries to win it. So with the Demon Wing, now I should be able to craft the Fastile Boots. Yeah, Fastile uses fast styles to craft, so let's do this. So let's see, I want to give that to Ignis there. Oops, get there. Yeah, it's a little better for him, so that'll help out his agility quite a bit. And I also want to hand down his Storm Shoes to Raphael. And, yeah, that ought to be good for now. So, okay, two down, one to go. Let's get out of here. Or, well, get back to where I started. So. Okay, so now we want to head to the right. Uh, do not go straight up the middle of this area here, because, well, yeah, spoiler alert, there's a boss up there. So, yeah, we don't want to do that yet. So, let's see what we got around here first. Night drops, better than a sharp stick in the eye. And a fast style! Alright, that's actually a pretty rare harvest to get from here. Uh, the other item you normally get is a uh, glowing liquid. Come on, turn around. I'm looking right at you. Thank you. While you're in this area now, uh, don't be afraid to use your most powerful AoEs, because we got that foresight right there. So we can just... Crap. We can just uh, use them with impunity. Finally, a challenge! How hard could this guy possibly be? You leave me no choice. I like Ignis's voice actor. He's got quite a bit of passion to it. I like that. You gotta have the passion. Okay, let's use Air Render because it's elemental. And this guy's weak to everything. Except Darkness Elemental. But we don't get very many of those in the game. Chalk one up for the good guys. But they're there, I suppose. Alright, and for getting, defeating the Mimic, we get a fast style. Alright. So, yeah, those are going to be pretty useful for crafting something else later in the game. So, remember to hold on to those for later. Uh, you know what? Before heading up there, I want to save again, because there's another fixed encounter that I want to win some items from. So, yeah, it's pretty easy to win the items if... You know what you're looking for, but if you don't, well, then it could take a little while. So, okay. So now what I want to do is go over here. Yeah, lots of really good items to win from the monsters here. See, I think this one's the monster. Yes, it is. Okay. Can't fool me again. For mini-boss time. Okay, now this guy is Enju. Uh, he... let's see... I want to kill it with anything besides light or fire in order to craft something. So, let's see... Yeah, I don't want to use my light elemental attack, so we'll just use whatever I've got. Okay, that should do the trick if I win it at all, which I should. It's a common drop. Yes, 
we got the Pelvic Fragment uh, for defeating it without light or fire. And for doing that, we can unlock the door now. Excellent. Let's see, we need that to craft the Meteor Boots later on. We need to get another one, too, but uh, one thing at a time, shall we? Let's see, I thought, yes. All right, yellow lot pieces. I could use those for crafting those uh, electric orbs. I, I was running a little low on those. Okay, now what I want to do is go around here to get the other treasures around here. I like how they make you climb on the bookshelves around here. I mean, yeah, it's ridiculous, but it's different than most libraries in JRPGs. Anyway, here we get alchemy crystals, which you'll want to save for crafting later on. And if you got the vessel tilting towards creation, you will get a few Arnon gems. It would contain three Stardusts if the vessel is balanced, or just a single energy mist if it's tilting towards destruction. So, yeah, you want to watch out for that. But, yeah, um, I'm saving all of these for later because I don't really have a lot to spend my Force Points on now anyway. So, let's heal up here. Let's go check out what the, what's behind that door there. Now that we've unlocked it. Yeah, we'll just explore the entire area first before fighting the boss or anything. Hmm? Oh, there's an enemy, like, right on the other side of that door. Whoops. Okay, and over here... Haha! -ha, an another Arnon gem. Awesome. Great for force points. Let's see. Ah! You get some Sorrento Spheres. Awesome. Let's see. I want to equip you with the Discerning Specs now, because by the window... There's another harvest point there. All right. Let's get you back on the lucky lenses now. Yeah, two of my favorite accessories in the game. Lucky lenses and discerning specs. So good. By the way, at that harvest point, you'll usually get Irispiris there. But, oh yeah, we can't do anything with this right now. Um, but at that harvest point, you can rarely get Stardusts or Energy Mists. And with the discerning specs, you can even get Arnon Gems. Let's see, with this one... Uh, yeah, I want to infuse force here to get a couple glowing metals. All right. Uh, if you don't, if you just fight the mimic, the chest will be empty. So yeah, you don't want to do that. You want to actually just open it. And here we get the SNS recipe, which is actually even better than the stamina recipe to for the dying youth side quest because you don't have to feed him as many times for it to work or to complete the side quest. But it requires dragon meat, so that's relatively difficult to acquire on Cecilia's path, which is why I favor the stamina recipe there. But that is one thing I like about it. the difference between the two paths, is how they make certain item drops available on one path or the other, so it's not just you can basically just use the same uh, equipment setup that I use on one path or the other. They mix it up like that. I like that. Okay, so I think I have the Lucky Lenses equipped, don't I? Well, we'll find out soon enough. Okay, good, good. Uh, let's see, did I get everything? Yes, okay. So, now let's go straight up the middle. They can take it up the ass. Now, now it's just a figment of your imagination. There ain't nothing there. Ah, oh, you left a monster here? Oh, well, of course. That goes without saying. <laughs> I've head desk here, but I've already used up all my head. More than my head desks for this LP. What's this? For boss time! Okay, now, for this battle here, uh, let's see. We want to try and win a lion thing from the boss in the back there. And we also want to defeat the Rakshe in the back there, that's the real boss, without using Fire, Bolt, or Void attacks. That pretty much means using Earthquake. Victory is ours. So hopefully, uh, with the, the, without using those attacks, you'll win a Serpent Skin. Felt this good in a thousand years. And a Lion Fang. Nuts, I didn't win the Lion Fang. Okay, well what I'm going to do is I'm going to reload my save file until I do win it, and I'll be right back. Luck always favors the righteous.
this power. How interesting. Okay, got the Lion Fang from the Raksha there, as well as the Serpent Skins. We'll want to use those for some crafting there. As a matter of fact, I think I can craft something right now. Let's check it out. Uh, yes, the Draconic Turban, now that we have the Serpent Skins and the Dragon Blood. So, let's do that. Yeah, it's a really nice piece of headgear, because not only is it, uh, does it have better defense, but it also resists fire by 80%, which is really useful against, well, dragons, obviously. So that'll be really useful later on in the game. Spoiler alert, we're going to be fighting dragons later on in the game. Oh, as if that's a spoiler, it's a JRPG, come on! You would think Faust would know about this room, though. Maybe he's already taken the book. Uh-oh. That would be bad. And then the world would have... Well, maybe not the world would have been doomed, but... Lufina would have been doomed. So, let's check it out. Yeah, you don't get to go in this room on Levant's path, but on Celia's path, you do. Wasn't there a treasure I could scan around here? Huh. I could have sworn there was one. I'm thinking of something else, but anyway. Why is it in holy light there? Maybe it's to contain its evil powers or some, something like that. Then why wasn't Revelius one of the primary divinities, not one of the subordinates? I don't know. You got me on that one. How, how bad could it possibly be if the bad guys got a hold of it? Let me guess, the bad guys are going to show up and steal the book from us before we can get out of here. Ah. Well, wouldn't that be good for us? Sounds like a plan. Oh. Well, that's it? There's nothing else to do here? Oh. I guess the bad guys aren't going to show up. Yeah, yeah, they are. We got the book. So let's head on back to the Altar of Nevelle. Can the Necrozoar save Lafina? Find out next time on Let's Play Hexes Force. This is H.G. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day.